Obo, obo, abuse that shit, then pass it to Kozo. We just circled your block. That's four cars deep in the C2 borrow. And I've lost the plot. Right, so boom, gang. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome to the channel. My name's Uta Beefs. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Uta underscore Beefs underscore backup page. It should pop up. Just look for the logo. Yeah, me. So, boom, gang. Before we get into anything, I've got to say a big thank you and a big shout out to Pro Hunter Swagin because they sent me some slugs to test out. These are some exclusive slugs, gang. You get me, sir? I can't give you too much. All I can tell you is that they're 0.22 caliber. I can't give you the weight or nothing. You get me? So, big up Pro Hunter Swagin. Thank you for letting me test out these slugs. I do hope they do well through the Wildcat because I did run them through the BSA R10, 50 yards. The groups was wide. I didn't like it, you get me? I did take a couple of shots with the Wildcat and it kind of, quite, kind of tightened up, you get me? So we're gonna stick with the Wildcat, you get me? So boom, gang. All right then, in this bag come some tips on how to deal with the pellets basically, how to get the best out of them, you get me? So I've got the tips here, let me read them out for you. So first one, all our slugs are washed in the manufacturing process, so you don't need to. Two, a clean barrel produces best performance. Three, lead in the barrel, shoot approximately 10 after cleaning before judging the group size. Four, add pellet lube one drop at a time. Some slugs prefer a lot of pellet lube to others, so experiment with different amounts. And then last one now, number five, it says check the corners of the velvet bags if purchasing a hundred or more. Slugs can hide in there. So basically they're saying, Slugs can get caught in the corner of the velvet bag, like it says. But yeah, big up Pro Hunter Swagin slugs. Pro Hunter Swagin, sorry. For letting me test out these slugs, you get me? So boom, gang. Let me get rid of this bag. As you can see, I've got some power pellet lube, some Napier power pellet lube in a bag with the slugs so i've just been massaging them to get them all lubed up nicely you get me all right so boom gang let me give you a close-up of these slugs quickly give you a little bit give you a little bit of my knowledge on them you get me but they are a little bit greasy gang these are the last of the 100 that i've got so i've probably got enough to go through one more two two rifle so boom, let me show you now, gang. So these are the Pro Hunter Swagin slugs. As you can see, they're in the shape of a bullet. This is what gives it its straighter trajectory or the better BC or ballistic coefficient just because of that shape, you get me? And as you can see at the top, it's a hollow tip. So basically, anything it hits, it's gonna have a nice expansion or a nice mushroom and it will expand and, yeah, do as much damage as it can, you get me? I turn it round now, you lot can see the skirt. I forgot what they called it, you know. But yeah, you can see the skirt. I'm gonna call it a skirt, but I don't think that's the proper term for this part here, but the skirt. All right, as you can see, it's got a nice little skirt. But I was watching something the other day, yeah, and one dude was examining, like, skirts on pellets, from on JSB pellets from, like, a couple years ago till now, and they was all different. But this little skirt inside, like the inside of this reminds me of one of the pellets where it's like it's straight and then it skirts out basically. So it goes up straight and skirts out. But 
Obviously, I'm not technical, so I don't know what the hell that does. But yeah, gang, as you can see, this is the Pro Hunter Swage and Slug. And we're gonna do the groups. Watch this, gang. I have got some 17.8 grains as well, two two slugs. So I might give you a group after, I might. I don't think these shot good in the wildcat, you know, but I might give you a group, a group after. But for now, we're sticking with the new exclusive slugs from Pro Hunter Swagen. So let me go set up down there. Let's go take a couple shots at the card, you get me? See how it groups. All right, so boom, gang. Camera's down there rolling. Ignore the thing in the middle. I was gonna give you one five shot group, but I've got eight in the magazine, so I'm gonna give you two four shot groups. Another thing, it is way better You'll get way more out of the rifle if you use single shot loader. But I haven't got a single shot loader for my Wildcat thinking about it. You get me? I think I have somewhere, but I don't know where it is. So I'm going to be using the magazine. Going to give you two four shot groups down there. And then just going to check the groups and see how it looks. You get me? So boom, gang. Let's do this now. Where is it? All right. First dot on the left. These slugs give the rifle a kick, you know. Oh, that was four in it, gang. Alright, so boom. You can see how wide it is. Remember, it is not the slugs, it's the barrel. A lot of sub 12 air guns do not like slugs, they prefer pellets. Especially the Smooth Twist X barrel, they was made around a JSB pellet. You get me? So, yeah. If any of you lot do try out, no. So, it'll be decent to buy some slugs just so you can test it out in your rifle, you get me? Like I said, my P15 shot the 10.5 grains, the, one, the 0.177s, 5P groups at 50 yards, you get me? But let's move on to that second up now, gang, man. See how we Second up now. Is it loaded? what the fuck I'm talking about. Way better gang. Boom. One of these groups is like a, for, like a golf ball. The other one's definitely a 5P group, you get me? So, I've loaded another eight into the magazine. I've got one down, one dot down there at 50 yards. I'm just gonna give all eight shots to the dot. And then we'll just measure it after and see how big the group is. You get me, sir?
Alright, first shot now. Remember, we're letting him have all eight. It's a bomb. Remember zero. Again, that's all eight. These slugs are decent, I can't lie. Can't tell you the size, but they're decent. Do you know what? Let me give you a group out of the 17.8 green so I can show you the difference to the new ones that they ain't put out yet, you get me? All right, so boom, gang. Camera's down there rolling. I'm gonna give you the 17.8 greens. I can't remember, but I don't think the Wildcat liked these. But I'm gonna give you an eight shot group so you lot can see for yourselves. So boom, there's one dot out there at 50 yards. I'm just gonna give it all eight shots and see how it groups, you get me? It's a bomb. First, is it loaded? First shot. That was me again. I'm not comfy, gang, to tell the truth. This gun, I thought it was the the Dreamlight Elite that was wobbly, you know, but it's actually the bipod. So I do need to upgrade on the bipod soon. But yeah, that those two flyers was me.
I'm glad it was finished, bro. I wanted my group to be tight as fuck. Fuck them three that got away. You get me? But gang, that's eight shots at 50 yards with the 17.8 green pro hunt assuaging slugs. So boom, gang. Let me go let you take a look at all of these groups quickly and then you lot can judge pro hunt assuaging slugs for yourselves. Alright, so boom, gang. Let's take a look at these groups quickly. This is a 5p or a 5 pence piece. If you don't know, it's 80 millimeters in diameter. And that's what we're going to be checking the groups with. So boom. I've got two four shot groups, car. I only got eight shots in my magazine. So two four shot groups. So boom. First group on the right, you can see it's wide. But the last two shots got kind of close together. So if you remember from the tips, it said shoot approximately 10 before, to lead in the barrel before checking the group size. Perfect example. First four shots, wide. Second four shot group now. 5P covers it easy. So you can see the barrel is just starting to get used to the slugs basically. So four under the 5p at 50 yards. But I didn't stop there, did I? So boom. This is a eight shot group now. I just let it have the whole magazine, you get me? All eight shots, 5p. Bang. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit hanging. Let me put this right over to the edge. If I put this right over to the edge, there's like half of a pellet hanging out there, basically. So we got one flyer, half, but we got six under there. We could claim seven, but I'm not gonna do it. We got six under the five P at 50 yards. Gang, and this is the groups with the 17.89 grain. I didn't even know they would shoot this good through the wild cap to tell the truth. And boom, gang, you have to remember, I did not zero it without giving too much away because I knew these was heavier than the other slugs. I knew there would be a drop, but I didn't know it'd go perfect into the black dot. Like, I promise you I did not zero it, but boom. As you can see, we got five in the black dot, three flyers, but 5P, I can cover all five easy. Let me see if I can get six. Nah, can't get the six, but can get five out of the eight, which is quite decent. I might have to do some more shooting with the slugs or more testing. Get me, sir. Boom, gang. Let me end out this video quickly. All right, so boom, gang. That is it from me. Big thank you to Pro Hunt Assuaging for letting me test out your slugs. They done all right, but I haven't finished yet. I really wanted to get the T-Rex again, but instead I picked up the BSA. But next week I'm gonna get the Remington T-Rex because I know them barrels like the slugs, you get me? So we ain't finished testing these slugs yet. So big thank you to Pro Hunter Swaging Slugs, gang. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Uta underscore beefs. If you haven't seen the BSA review, I might not have put it out yet, but it's a used rifle surplus store. You lot, make sure you go check it out. Price is crazy. It's tuned. It's a big boy. Gang, I'm out.